12 because we're getting overwhelming support from women voters. Why do you think that is, President? Well, I think it's because uh, two reasons. One, all that I've done from violence against women and my activities relating to access for women opportunities to uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> No, there's not. I mean, as you guys know, have had to cover me for a long time. I haven't changed what I've been saying since the day I announced. And the day I announced, uh, everybody thought that I was way off base. Uh, and by the way, I don't mean that as a, I'm not being critical of anybody else. I'm just saying that I believe very, very strongly, I really mean it, that we have to restore decency and honor in our system or it's just it's going to fall apart. Secondly, I believe extremely strongly, and I know you've all watched it from the very beginning, that we have to rebuild the middle class. We have to give ordinary people a fighting chance. They can do anything when you give them a chance. And thirdly, we have to unite the country. Well, all three of those things were viewed as either a, too much of a reach or not a reach enough. And uh, I haven't changed my view. And uh, so, you know, this is, for example, I didn't realize this was here. The Reverend Herring, who was one of the five major leaders in the black community when I got started in Wilmington, back when I was a kid, when I started off as a lifeguard, my good luck charm is I always go back to where I where I started every election I go by. So we're going to go back to by Price's Run swimming pool, and uh, and it was uh, it, you know I. The, the leadership in the community from here, from Riverside all the way up to Price's Run on the east side was uh, overwhelmingly African-American, but it all was in the black church. The black church was the heart and soul of the entire movement for people here. And, uh, and so it's, uh, and when I started off as a kid getting involved, I had a, I had a job with a nice country club kind of pool as a, as a lifeguard. I wanted to work on the east side because uh, I knew I played ball with a lot of uh, great black athletes, but uh, I knew, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't know them. They, I mean, we knew each other, we were friends, but I, I didn't know them, and it was a great education. It was like the Green Mile, you know, you see the movie? Well, it's like that, you know, you begin to, when you realize that the people I've known for a long time that, uh, you know, didn't, they lived in the middle of a city and a county that was white and they didn't know anybody. I mean, they knew, but they didn't know anybody. And it was a real education for me. I, I, I'm not being melodramatic. I mean, it really was. And uh, I think I've told a couple of you there are the guys who, and there were men, there were all the lifeguards at that time. The guys who got the jobs were usually the relatively well-known athletes who they, they hired. And, uh, you know, there were people, they all, the 13 lifeguards I worked with, all of them became really successful in their lives. And, uh, but it was interesting that uh, we'd sit and talk and they'd ask me questions that stunned me, they were asked. Like, I think I've told you before, you know, Jamie asked me, do you have a jerry can, meaning a five gallon can for gasoline? I said, no, what the hell do you need a jerry can for? I'm gonna go see my grandmother. I said, what she needed for her? Oil burn or something? I said, no, she lives in North Carolina. I can't stop at any gas stations. We can't stop, gotta have my, I mean, things like that that were sort of eye-opening for me. Well, I think they're better now. I know they're better now. And you see things happening here that are that are changing the way in which people interact. There's a lot more. I got involved running for the county council because when we, I thought it was un unfair that there was redlining in the county. People weren't able to move. That's changed a lot. And uh, so the whole range of things have changed. But there's still a great need. But what's happening is that there's people who are uh, um, there's people who are in a position that they're getting engaged now, and it's uh, and, and it's mainly, like I said, uh, you know, when you had guys like Reverend Herring, 
we used to go, I'd go to Mass and then go down and sit in this church, and you'd, we'd talk about, plan about what we're going to do. We're going to desegregate a movie theater. We're going to march for something. I mean, and by the way, I'm not making myself out to be something special. It was just a lot of folks my age got engaged, and that's how I got engaged. What do you, what do you know about America, or what do you think about America that you didn't know in 1972 or 1988 or 2008? I mean, just looking back over the course of your career and the moment you're at right now. Well, I mean, there's a whole lot. Hopefully, uh, you know, with age comes a little bit of wisdom. Um, and uh, what I know is that hadn't changed is my absolute belief in the American people. You give them an even shot, they can do anything. I mean, they really can. What do you, how do you feel Trump claims victory tonight and it's not clear that he won? What's your plan for that? It, via tweet or otherwise? Because we know, based on our reporting at Axios, that that's what he plans to do. Well, look, um, like I said, you've heard me use the line today several times. Presidents can't determine the, what votes counted or not counted. And, uh, you know, voters determine who's president. This isn't going to, no, no matter what he does, no matter what he says, the votes are going to be counted. Do you feel a responsibility to respond, though, or say No, something? no, I don't. I mean, look, it depends on what he says and how he says it. But, you know, uh, I don't feel a responsibility to respond. And by the way, as you've seen some of the articles written, I mean, this talk about there being disruptions and things like that. I mean, he's embarrassing Republicans. Republicans are walking away from him. I mean, this is, it's, uh, but look, I, like I said, I, uh, I'm superstitious about predicting what an outcome is going to be for what happens. That's sort of who I am, how I've always run. And, uh, but I'm hopeful. How do you hear right. Thanks, guys. We got to have a thank you. What are you hearing today? Well, what I'm hearing is that, uh, there's overwhelming turnout and overwhelming turnout, particularly of young people, of women. And uh, there's an overwhelming turnout among uh, African-Americans, for example, in Georgia and Florida over the age of 65. Uh, so, I mean, the things that are happening bode well for the base that has been supporting it. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, you know, I, I, I don't know. We don't know how this is going to come in. For example, if you had, if Florida came in and by one, it's over. Done. If Florida doesn't come in and, you know, what happens is the early votes occur in some other states, I think we're going to do well and we're going to reestablish that blue wall. I feel good about that. Uh, we'll see what, but just, it's just so uncertain. Look, you can't think of an election in the recent past where so many states are up for grabs. The idea, I'm in play in Texas, Georgia, North Carolina, Florida. I mean, come on. I mean, Texas? I don't. Does Ohio still win, given the tradition of presidential nominees going on to win the presidency because of their win in Ohio? Well, but, you know, there's also been other traditions. They haven't been able to win unless they won Pennsylvania. That kind of, there's all kinds of traditions. Uh, the only thing you know is traditions are made to be broken. There's just so much in play right now, and, the, and there's such overwhelming vote out there. We'll see. And I, if there's something to talk about tonight, I'll talk about it. If not, I'll wait till the votes are counted the next day. Great. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.